Welcome back guys. Well today I'm out here checking the trail cameras. Stay tuned. Well, I'm just out here checking the Browning Strike Force HD Pro which is in their uh, sub micro series. I've got seven cameras out only one of them uh, is the uh, the HD Pro. The other one I have is just the regular Strike Force and I have a few wild game cameras out as well as one Moultrie. So it's been a pretty active spring on the trail cams. I think the animals are finally getting used to them being out and aren't shy to do anything in front of them, which is great. Um, I want to let you know how I feel about this Browning Strike Force HD Pro. As you'll see in this uh, film today, that I will be putting up some of the video from it as well as some of the pictures. You know, the performance is eh, a little bit mediocre in terms of the results I'm getting. I mean, it is capturing animals on the... Uh, you know, the photography end of things, but I'm really not happy with the quality of the images. So basically, you know, it, I had it running um, at the high quality setting for the videos. And as you'll see, some of the videos I find, you know, the color is really, really bright and saturated, almost oversaturated, and it's a little bit grainy, uh, especially when it's taking uh, color video sort of at, uh, you know, the earlier parts of the morning. So see what you think. Uh, leave your comments down below as to what you think the quality of this video camera is. And uh, the photos, though, not too bad. I'll put those in there as well. I'm really impressed, though, with the nighttime viewing on this Browning. Um, certainly at nighttime, what you'll notice is that it, uh, you know, it shines a light on the animals, but it also dampens down that light. So basically, when they get too close to the camera, it'll dial back the amount of light, uh, the amount of lumens it's sort of shining on the animals. And that's great. That means you're getting less washout uh, photos and videos. Certainly with the older cameras, there's usually just one setting, one flash, one uh, strength of light that you're getting. Uh, whereas this one, you know, sort of dials down uh, the lighting a bit at nighttime, which I think is great. It'll, uh, if the animals are farther away from the camera, it'll really power uh, a very bright light on them, which is fine, but you don't want that when they're up close. So it's been capturing a lot of videos and uh, photos for me, which is great. Although I'm really just not impressed with uh, the video quality. I'm afraid to turn it up to ultra mode. I think it's going to get more grainy, but I've just left this on photo for now. One thing I like about it, it is really, truly sub micro. Look how small this camera is. It sets up nicely on the tree here. And it also has this little metal bracket here, so you can angle it any way you want. I really like that. It's really easy to use, which is good. So you just open it up. You know, the the buttons are great um, the batteries you know are not dead which is awesome uh, I've got the lithiums in there and you know we're basically still at a hundred percent and it's been out a, a couple months now and uh, looks like yeah we got some photos 23 on there since the last time I checked it about 10 days ago and uh, one thing I really like about it is that I can view the photos on this unit so if I go into the pictures here there's me Probably can't see here, but uh, I can actually view the photos. There's my legs. <laughs> so we'll put these on the big screen for you so you can see what I saw. Well, without further ado, I'll show you what we found this spring on our trail cams. Some pretty amazing footage, even some animals that actually were hunting and showed us their quarry.
I really enjoy my old Strike Force. It's a few years old now. It's starting to corrupt some of the files and the videos. So I was really counting on this one to get some great video for me. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but of course I'm not gonna return it. Uh, the battery life is still pretty good and I do enjoy the pictures it takes. Well, I'm just down at the trail cam here by the dock and I finished checking the trail cams and it's really surprising this year. I did not see any bears. Uh, usually every year we get a bear or two on the camera and nothing. So I don't know, maybe they're just not in this area right now or they haven't gone past my trail cameras, but it's the first year where we really haven't seen the bears on the trail cameras, so we'll see. This year I only managed to get one picture of the moose uh, going past the cabin this year and it wasn't a very good one. They were going through by nighttime. Like I said, every year I can set my watch as to when they go by. So I didn't get any great footage this year like last year. Uh, you guys remember from my moose uh, trail camera story time that was a lot of great footage there this year one of my cameras uh, the battery kind of conked out right by the cabin when the moose walked by so i managed to get the shot of it walking away so anyway at least i got something i'm really impressed with those pictures of the you know the foxes and the coyotes this year um, and of course that rabbit grooming in front of the trail camera was pretty neat thanks so much for watching today guys i hope you enjoyed the trail cam videos and photos I'm really looking forward to getting some more great shots because I do want to enter into the Ontario Out of Doors Trail Cam Photo Contest again this year. Thank you guys again for your tremendous support with my little campaign uh, to get in the contest. I did very, very well. I was in uh, the top five at least, didn't make the top three, uh, but that's a pretty big accomplishment considering how big the contest is. So uh, leave a comment down below, like and share the video, and tell me which one of the images I showed today was your personal favorite. All right, have a great week. Take care.